Welcome aboard, explorers, to another video. I am the Hidden Mickey Guide, back at you again. Today, I am doing my review of Magic Kingdom and Disneyland. Sort of a, sort of a versus today. And I want to talk about both of them because I adore these places. Disney is one of my favorite places, one of my favorite companies, and I love going to the parks. Personally, I've been to Disney World like five times in 2018 and I've been to Disneyland once and that was my first ever time at Disneyland and man was it special. I don't know if it was a honeymoon phase, but there was just something different about Disneyland compared to over here at Magic Kingdom. So today I'm going to compare. It may be a long video, may not be, I don't know yet. Pop some popcorn, get a soda, let's sit down and let's get right into the video. So Magic Kingdom, I grew up on this park. I'm from Florida. I live in Florida and I go to Magic Kingdom a lot. I've I've grew I've grown up at this place, you know, this is what I've known. This is the Disney that I've known. I I go on the Jungle Cruise, the Haunted Mansion, Pirates of the Caribbean, you know, Thunder Mountain, Tiki Room, Bear Jamboree, all these attractions. This is what I grew up with. I never grew up with Disneyland in California. So Florida for me was a freaking fantastic magical time. However, Whenever you go to Magic Kingdom, you get this Floridian style. It never really quite feels right. Now, don't get me wrong. It's a magical experience, and it's like nothing ever. You know, there's nothing like Disney over here. But it feels like you're still in a Florida theme park. You have all of these people coming from different countries. It feels like a tourist des destination, especially in the summer where it's very hot and it just feels like, you know, it's a tourist destination. We have to go here. And people are flocking in. People are flocking in. And Magic Kingdom is very open. And the spaces are very wide. And um, the attractions just feel more like they're, de they're, they're designed for crowds. When at Disneyland, when you walk into Disneyland, it's like right in the dab, you know, Anaheim neighborhood, and Disneyland feels so much more like a community. It feels like a park, like a small park you go to with your children. You just go here, but, you know, it's for all ages. But you go here to this park, and this park just, it feels so, like, the it's so quiet and peaceful and so s small and tiny. It feels, you know, smacked together and that is what makes Disneyland a charm um, and it's really charming I really enjoy it there's a lot more uh, food eating destinations dining plans you know at Disneyland you can just sit down and find a seat anywhere but at Magic Kingdom it's a lot more difficult if you're on a crowded day I went during spring break to Disneyland in April my first ever time too it was a blast I loved Disneyland it was a crowded day, and you could still find a seat anywhere. And we got food, and we had a great time. And one of my favorite uh, restaurants was the Hungry Bear Restaurant. I feel like Disneyland, unfortunately, has more of a Disney vibe to it. You feel like it's more open. Uh, well, not open. It feels like there's so much more Disney content jam-packed in there. Uh, people always talk about Disneyland being combined when Disney World has everything thrown out together and Magic Kingdom um, just it feels still like Disneyland but it feels a little bit more like a like I said a tourist destination it's designed so you have to go to the other parks but at Disneyland it's designed really you just have to go here you don't even have to go to California Adventure if you don't want to but you know it would be nice um, so yeah Magic Kingdom, I adore the fact that they have a lot of shows. They have the Carousel of Progress. They have Tiki Room, Bear Jamboree, Mickey's Filler Magic Show, um, Hall of Presidents. All of these shows, Disneyland, Tiki Room, Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln, and I'm pretty sure that's it. Like, you know, show attractions. I'm not talking about shows, you know, like, you know, like, with actors. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's really special about Magic Kingdom because at Disneyland, of course, a lot of the shows have closed. Bear Jamboree, Carousel of Progress, um, all those classic attractions, those shows have closed in the past. But at Magic Kingdom, we still have them. Another thing that's better at Magic Kingdom has to be the People Mover. 
Disneyland really needs to bring back the people mover, but what, people that come over to Magic Kingdom, especially those Californianers, they always come over here and talk about the people mover, how we're so lucky that we have the people mover, and it's just a charming, classic attraction. Now, Disneyland, however, has a lot more classic, iconic dark rides in Fantasyland, and that's another plus for Disneyland. Uh, these classic dark rides, while short, are charming and fun for the entire family. I love these dark rides, especially Alice in Wonderland, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, Peter Pan's Flight. Um, it's a small world, which is not really a dark ride, but it's a flume. Anyways, and Snow White's Scary Adventures, etc., etc. Great attractions for all ages. I love them, and I... When I go back to Disneyland in 2019, I will definitely be going to Fantasyland first because it just has this classic, iconic feel to it. Another thing at Disneyland that is better than Magic Kingdom, let's talk about it again, is the beginning of Fantasyland. We're getting right back into Fantasyland again. The Fantasyland at Magic Kingdom has a fair, a medieval fair look to it. The facades of all these attractions have like a, it looks like a fair. I don't like this. I'm personally not a fan of the facades at Magic Kingdom. A lot of people aren't, and I think they should get a big refurbishment like the facades at Disneyland. They got big refurbishments in the 1980s. Those facades are now like a cottage, and it feels like you're in this little old cottage. And uh, personally, if you know me, I like old stuff. I like old buildings and stuff, and this is a big turn-on for me. I love the way Fantasyland looks at Disneyland. I adore it, and it's fantastic. I love the, the architect, uh, Mr. Toad's statue right outside of Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Freaking fantastic. I love it. Um, but... Magic Kingdom has new Fantasyland, which actually really reminds me of Fantasyland at Disneyland. So I think in a couple years for uh, the big anniversary of Magic Kingdom, they should completely refurbish Fantasyland and make it look like new Fantasyland. Then it would be perfect. It would probably be my favorite place in the park. It already probably is my favorite place in the park, but yeah. And there's a lot more... Um, variety at Disneyland. That's another thing. All you thrill ride people, there's a lot of thrill rides at Disneyland, like Indiana Jones Adventure, um, Star Tours, Mat Matterhorn, Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain, Splash Mountain, all of those. But when I go to Disney, if you know me, I'm not a fan of uh, just thrill rides. I'm a fan of all of it because I love the story that it's trying to tell. And yeah, so what park is better? Well, in my opinion, I think Disneyland is a little bit better. It has more dining opportunities. D opportunities. It has a charm to it. You can really tell that Walt Disney walked through here. It just has this, this, this magical feeling that you don't get at Magic Kingdom. You get a different kind of magical feeling at Magic Kingdom, but at Disneyland you get this. I don't know. You just have a. It has a special charm to it because Disney. Walt Disney actually designed Disneyland with his Imagineers, known as WED in the old days, and it was just a magical experience for me, and I can't wait to go back in 2019 for my high school graduation party with my grandmother, Oma Jelaine. Hopefully, we're going back in 2019. I hope you enjoyed this video. Disneyland has to be the best for me. It has more variety. It has a lot more attractions. Even though at Magic Kingdom, it has a lot of classic shows that I wish they still had it. Disneyland, Disneyland has a lot more variety. You have a lot of stuff you can do and it would take you about two or three days to complete all of it. We went two days and we still had a lot of stuff to do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I still love Magic Kingdom. It is my childhood home. So leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, do whatever the heck you wanna do. And remember guys, adventure is out there. Bye everyone.